Hello kids, I'm going to demonstrate a basic beat like I do in the drum lesson, in case you forgot. Remember, eighth notes on a hi-hat. You count them one and two and three and four and. Very basic. One and two and three and four and. And you keep doing that. Then you add your left hand, snare drum, or whatever you might be using in place of a drum set. It's just right and left. There's no speed, you can go slower if you need to. The main thing is that you're doing this. One and two and three and four and. And try not to stop. And we'll try to get our bass drum in there. You can't see it, but you'll hear it. You'll step on the pedal on one and two and three and four and. So once again, your bass drum is on the one and the three. And we don't go one, two, three, four. It's one and two and three and four. And. So if you noticed, I added my left hand back on the two and four. So the whole beat together, real slow. One and two and three and four and one. And that's it. Okay, I'm back with part two of the basic drum beat lesson. Okay, we learned how to play this. One, three, four. So we had one bass drum, one snare drum. You can also play one end with the bass drum. Very simple. So all I'm doing is adding a bass drum on the one and the end. And the cymbal doesn't stop, so don't do this. Okay? It's going to be... And also, you can add two hits with your snare drum. played one with the bass drum, one, and then two, two, and end. Okay? Try that at home. Hello, kids. Another lesson I'd like to do is adding a more complicated bass drum to the symbol. We've learned how to play basic beat. Where the bass drum is matching up with the symbol. As you get more advanced, I would like you to try to play a 16th note. Well, two 16th notes actually. One E. Since we're playing one and two and, the one E is one so, not, you don't want the symbol to go with the E because we're playing eighth notes. One and two and three and four and the bass drum, one E and two. Very slow. So you have to see, bass drum, two bass drum hits, you can hear it, you can't see it. Not, you must work on that. If you're playing this beat, and you're going, that's wrong. It can be used, but right now we're learning independence. You don't want your right hand to go with your right foot in that way. And then add your two and the four, and you get this. One E and two. Three E and four and that's how you pronounce it. A little faster.